Hi, I'm Coach Corey Wayne, and this is my video coaching newsletter. And the topic of today's newsletter is going to be network chiropractic care. So I've got an email here from a viewer who asked me about network chiropractic care, also known as NSA Network Spinal Analysis. If you've been following me for a while, you've probably heard me talk about this healing modality. And if you're one of the lucky people who's read Mastering Yourself, my second book, I go into an extensive detail on network chiropractic care and how it's the best healing modality that I've personally ever come across and experienced. And I've been getting worked on for probably about 17 years now, since 2004, and I've had some of the best network care doctors in the whole world work on me, including Dr. Donnie Epstein, who founded it. And it's absolutely amazing what it can do for your life. So... I'll get into more detail in it, but I got a quote that I wrote on this topic because the guy that wrote in, he's a little skeptical. He's watched some people getting worked on and he's like, is this legit? Does this work? And so what's great is what's interesting is the people that are the most skeptical when they get worked on and they notice the results and how they feel in their body, they, they usually become the greatest advocates, which is interesting. So the quote says, the shape and tone of your spine is the shape and tone of your life. When it doesn't feel safe to experience life or certain emotions and we suppress them instead of feeling and healing them, this gets stored as muscle tension in your nervous system. Over the years and decades, this tension turns what should be a soft and flexible spine and back muscles into rock hard tissue that is similar to armoring like a turtle's hard shell. You then take on the body language and physiology of a turtle that is trying to protect itself from the world or a dog that has been kicked too many times. This keeps your body in a perpetually stressed, angry, and fearful state. All of your human interactions will be affected negatively. Even when you feel calm, you will give off the vibe of an angry, stressed, of an angry and stressed person that will repulse others. The solution is network chiropractic care that can help your body connect to and release this tension from your nervous system. This relieves the pressure off of the nerves that connect your spine to your vital organs and the rest of your body, thereby enabling your brain to talk to and regulate its muscles and systems to regain optimum health. You are at your best and do your best work when you are in a peaceful, flexible, and relaxed state. This makes it easier to reach your full potential because making necessary changes in your life feels natural and safe to embark on. So let's go through his email. So talking about the shape and tone of your spine being the shape and tone of your life, Imagine taking on and being locked into the physiology of a depressed person where you're kind of benched, you're bent over, you're hunched over, kind of staring at the ground, and you're locked into that physiology. Everything you do in life, everything you experience is experiencing it through somebody that has a depressed physiology. Or maybe you're angry and you're angry all the time and that is a pattern that gets stuck in your body. So even when you're talking to a woman, and even though you might be smiling, your body language is communicating something different. It's going to cause other people to not feel safe around you. And it'll be hard to create rapport with other people, especially women. And when you get a lot of network care, it just makes you peaceful. It makes you relaxed. It helps you take your time to analyze, take in information, and then slowly respond and make a decision that is best for you. If somebody has the physiology of somebody that's very stressed and very fearful, they might have things they want to do in their life. Maybe they work a crappy job they hate and they complain about, but they never do anything about it. And a big reason why they don't is because they don't feel safe in their body to make those kinds of changes. So they just keep using and making excuses and rules to keep doing nothing and keep getting up every day, going to a job they hate, which over the years and decades eventually gets to the point where you just give up on life and you give up on living the kind of life that you want. Plus, if you're carrying around an angry physiology all the time, you're constantly dumping acid. You're telling your body to create acid 
in response to your thoughts because our thoughts literally do create our reality and if we have lots of negative thoughts we make ourselves sick because we're literally pumping acid into our body our body conforms to our thoughts about ourselves and when several decades because this usually starts in childhood for most people and as that tension builds over the course of your life it's like you be by the time you're in your 20s you're kind of locked into the physiology and that forever controls and shapes your destiny so let's go through this guy's email because he's got a lot of concerns he brings up some good things that people will see maybe some things that are kind of unusual when people are getting worked on so he says hey Corey, i'm thinking about booking a network chiropractic care visit for the first time this week based on the way you speak about it i've had a lot of issues with my nervous system that are emotional and mental in origin so again like i was talking about in the quote when things happen in life we call it undigested life in essence whatever happened to you growing up or in your life up until this point what happened is you didn't feel safe in your body to experience certain emotions maybe you didn't know how to process them maybe like in my particular case i was kind of like a hunchback like the middle of my back i just had this big meat backpack that was just rock hard muscle and that was all around my emotional area just because of the environment that i grew up in where there was no empathy there was no emotions you never heard the words i love you Family members didn't come over and give you a hug and say, I love you. That just never, ever happened. It's like we were a bunch of just cold-ass roommates that lived together. And the whole family was like that. And so you get into the real world and you want to experience emotions. You want to show affection to people or on a date with a girl. It feels really unnatural, really weird, really awkward. Even though you might crave that kind of attention. It doesn't feel safe in your body to experience that because you just don't know what that's like and that's one of the, another reason why i struggled so hard with dating and relationships when i was younger because i it didn't feel safe in my body to experience or to do those things especially when somebody would tell me that i love you it's i remember like energy shooting through my body like little almost like thousands of little needles on my skin everywhere and it just felt weird and awkward when somebody would say that I remember the first few times I said I love you to somebody that I cared about. It felt weird saying that. It felt unusual. It didn't feel comfortable. It didn't feel safe to say that. But obviously, I got better at it over time. And then when I started getting worked on by Dr. Don McDana, who's a friend of mine, he's got, his website is besimplywell.com. That's B-E, simply, S-I-M-P-L-Y well w-e-l-l dot com so if you need a recommendation for a good network chiropractic doctor i would highly recommend you go through him first so he can recommend somebody wherever you are in the world that is competent wherever they happen to be unfortunately there's not a ton of network chiropractic doctors out there and a lot of people fly from all over the world to get worked on by dominic and so back to the email here So if you've got things happening in your life and it doesn't feel safe in your body, it makes your physiology rock hard. And it like for me, it like bent me over. I I literally had a had a hunchback. And through getting lots of network care and going to the retreats, it just slowly dissolved that meat bag. And then my everything, my body language, everything opened up, my spine unwound. And I just had this overall sense of well-being and calm in my life. And so he says, can you describe what the whole experience is like for you from beginning to end? So now I just, after all these years, I go for just kind of maintenance. So when I typically, like if I'm in Orlando, I'll get worked on as much as I can. And the thing with network care, it's like most people that go into an office, they might go once, twice, maybe three times a week and get worked on. And like in my case, I like to go a lot. So I almost treat it kind of like a retreat where I'm going away for a week to get worked on intensely several times a day. And what I often do with Dominic is he'll work on me Monday morning, Monday afternoon, Tuesday morning, Wednesday morning, Wednesday afternoon, Thursday morning, Friday morning, Friday afternoon, and then one last time on Saturday. So you get basically about nine entrainments a week. And so you got to think of like network care as kind of like each time you go, your body adjusts a little bit 
you drop a little bit of tension and then he just lets kind of lets the entrainment do its work over the next several hours or the next day or two and so i like to condense things down in as short a period of time as possible because i i just don't really i'm not i don't spend much time in orlando and you know when you don't get worked on for several months just life happens tension builds up and i go in there i feel pretty relaxed and then when he works on me i'm like man i didn't realize how tight i was because it happens so slow and so you go, you get a lot of work done in a short period of time. You're really loose. And then over, and then you go back to your life. And if your life still has all those stressful people and stressful circumstances, the job that you hate, you're, again, like the quote says, the shape and tone of your spine is the shape and tone of your life. And so if your physiology and your spine is now in one of a peaceful and relaxed state and you've got all these people in your life, maybe a stressful job, maybe toxic relationships, whatever it happens to be. And then those people and those circumstances or that job or business partners that are kind of a pain in the ass, like I had and I wrote about in Mastering Yourself, it's like it just no longer feels safe to be around them. It no longer feels safe or comfortable or even desirable to be involved with certain people. And you just find yourself, like if you got toxic people or people that kind of sometimes treat you like a doormat and are not good to you, You'll boot them right out of your life. You just stop hanging out with them and it'll feel natural and it'll feel good. And you'll make new friends. You'll draw new people into your life that resonate with the body language and the physiology that you're in now. And so I look at it, it's just like working out or drinking green juice or smoothies. That it's just part of maintaining your body in a healthy peak state. And so that's why I continually go and I'm a big advocate for it and it's like pulling teeth to get friends and family to go up to Orlando and get worked on. And so what I typically do is I pay Dominic to come down to South Florida and work on my friends and family. And I do private chiropractic retreats at my house. And that's, you know, everybody's like, oh, I feel so amazing. It was great. But they won't hop in the car and take a three hour drive to go get worked on them. And so you got to kind of strategize to, if you care about people, you find a way to get them involved in it and so one of the interesting things one of the projects i've been working on over the last few months is i've got a couple of the kids of two close friends of mine have been working for me and so they've been juicing vegetables they've been making the smoothies they're eating the healthy nuts that i describe and mastering yourself the four salts they're working out both of them are working out and obviously getting a lot of beginning a lot of network chiropractic care adjustments over the course of about two weeks each of them and i'm excited to see what happens and how their their physiology changes and they're excited too so i'm looking forward to that and we're going to be filming that and so you'll be able to see that so in several months down the road when everything's finished you'll be able to see the before and after like so we'll start at the beginning of the week before they get worked on, and then maybe the second week we'll do an update, see how they feel, see what their body language, their spine, the way it looks, their back, the way it looks. Like uh, one of the guys, Chunky, who you'll meet, he, uh, it's funny, I, when he, when I took him to the gym the first time, he started trying to do squats. It was, it's like watching the elephant, an uncoordinated elephant man trying to do squats because he had broken his ankle really bad when he was a kid. And he's just totally uncool. You can tell his spine is just all, it's all a mess. It's all the vertebrae twisted. And so I'm excited because they're both very young. So young people haven't had decades like us adults to get kind of stuck in that physiology. And so younger people tend to change really quickly compared to like somebody like myself who's never had it and walks in there for and gets worked on the first time. And so we're going to give them a lot of work in a very short period of time. And so what that does, it facilitates the body loosening up really quickly. So you see dramatic change in your life really fast. And the goal is to capture that on video so I can share it with you guys. Because then you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Now you guys, I always see people complimenting about how calm and relaxed I see them. I do get stressed out and pissed off at times. But for the most part, I'm pretty chill. And the people that I hang out with are pretty chill. That's why, you know, my life's a drama-free zone. And a big reason why is just 
because of the network care and all the other things I do. And so I've kind of remade my life over the last 17, 18 years. It's like, you know, like I talked about mastering yourself. Within a year, I was a comp- year, year and a half of starting to get worked on. I mean, I was out of real estate completely and doing something completely different. And internally, I knew it was time to do something else. But it didn't feel safe to do that because I had my whole life, my whole identity was built around this real estate and mortgage business. And then when you get in that peaceful and relaxed state and you see all the people around you that are stressed all the time, and therefore since they're stressed, they tend to share that stress and they stress you out. It was just nice to go through that metamorphosis over a year, year and a half and get into something totally different that's way more rewarding and has a much bigger impact on the world globally than being a real estate broker and a mortgage broker. Even though that was a great and rewarding business and we all did really well at it, it wasn't really, it's like that part of my life, it kind of, it was time to move on. It was time for that to dissolve and do something different. And so for me, it's, you know, I was wearing suits and shirts and tie and nice clothes to work every day. And I'm, you know, I live down in South Florida, which is, it's like a freaking swamp down here. It's like you walk outside in the middle of the summer when it's 100 degrees out, you get f- five feet out your door and your balls are dripping wet with sweat. And so I'm a shorts, t shirt, and flip flops kind of guy. And I mean, you really kind of have to dress that way. And I always chuckle at seeing people walking down the street in the hot summer, sweat running down their brow, and they got a big, thick, dark, suit on i'm thinking i'm glad i'm not one of those guys anymore so like for me to answer his question it's like it completely trans every transformed every aspect of my life the other things that tend to happen is you tend to just naturally gravitate towards more relaxing music if you got a job that's stressing you out you don't like it'll just feel natural to go and start putting your resume in other places and looking somewhere else to work where it feels right, where the vibration of the place where you go and the people there feels more aligned with where your physiology is. And it feels good to move on and make those major life changes. He says, do you feel this is a safe and effective treatment? I was like, absolutely. My friends, my family, I've been getting them worked on for almost the same amount of time that I've been getting worked on. And I certainly wouldn't be putting my ass and my reputation on the line because you can tell I don't have a lot of products and things or services that I recommend and I have very few people even when I do interviews on my YouTube channel because I'm not I'm not going to whore myself out just for a paycheck. It's like if I'm going to rep something or suggest it, it's because I believe in it. I don't I don't get paid, I don't get any endorsements or anything from this. It's just I know it will help people and that's what my business is in helping people. He says, the reason I ask is I've seen people convulsing on the table and making loud noises, and it looks rather unpleasant and sketchy. So what what he's talking about is sometimes people get worked on, and they start flailing their arms around and, you know, sitting their back up and making grunting noises and all kinds of nonsense. And and what I've learned is that people that do that, they're trying to distract themselves because they don't like what they're feeling inside, and then on part of Part of it also is they're kind of showing off and trying to get attention. They're kind of being an attention whore, if you will, and trying to get people to pay attention to them. So by making you know weird grunting noises on the table, you're like, because I've, I've been worked on, I don't know how, probably thousands of times at this point over the years. I've never felt to do that. And all the doctors said, yeah, they're just trying to distract themselves or they're kind of attention whores and it's... So when you see people like that, just know that they're they're trying to distract themselves and they're putting on a show for attention. It's kind of like, hey, I'm really doing this network care thing. I'm really getting into it. Look at me, how good I am at it. And it's like, I've never experienced anything like that. So I always kind of laugh when I see people doing it. I go, you know, because if you go to the network chiropractic events, you see a lot of people, you know, I'd say probably 10% of the people or 15% of the people are doing shit like that and making noises and drawing attention to themselves, probably because they don't feel like they're getting enough attention from other people in their lives. And now they feel safe in their body to really be who they are, and so they're just letting it out on the table. It's kind of goofy and silly. I, I find it funny and humorous. It's like, whatever. He says, I just don't want to make existing issues worse, but I also don't want to miss out on the benefits, so I'll probably just ask them 
to take it slow. He says, my regular doctor hasn't expressed any concern over the symptoms I have been experiencing, and they are idiopathic in nature, which means that they don't have a clear physical cause. Yeah, it's mental. If it doesn't feel safe when you're getting yelled at as a little kid to experience those emotions, you don't know how to process those emotions, you disconnect from them. Your your spine subluxates. It, you get a twist in the vertebrae that puts pressure and tension on the nerves that come out of your spine. And when they're pinched, then your body, which the other thing that's interesting is every one of your vertebrae is associated with, with a different part of your personality. And so wherever the subluxations are, wherever the armoring is, that's where you're completely disconnected from. Like for me, it was my emotional center. Growing up in a family where there's no emotions expressed at all, it's like, duh, of course I'm gonna be hunched over like a little turtle. So it's, or some, like somebody that might have subluxations lower down in the spine, like where your navel area is, that's your willpower center. And so if you know people that are always talking about what they're going to do, but they never do it, it's because they're disconnected from their willpower. It doesn't feel comfortable. And then people that are disconnected up here in the heart area have a real hard time in relationships relating to other people and getting along with other people. And they also tend, wherever the disconnection is, which is interesting, is where you'll see disease show up, whether it's cancer or heart problems. It's wherever the tension is, is where you see dis-ease show up in the body. It's really fascinating, the connection between all that. And you think, how could chiropractic have anything to do with us? It's like, that's what's so amazing about it. You really get a great understanding of the body and how it functions and how your thoughts and your emotions affect your body. So he says, when I go for massages, they always comment how rock hard my back is. It's like, yeah, your spine is completely armored. So what's going on is all your muscles are, they're just stressed and they're hard and they're firing and your brain doesn't even know that they're firing. So they're constantly like this. And so when you start to get worked on a lot, you'll also notice that your spine will feel achy, kind of like crampy. And if you think about it, if your muscle is just firing like this all the time and then it goes, ah. And it releases, yeah, it's going to be a little sore. It's going to be a little uncomfortable. And when the tension drops, the brain goes, oh, wow, I can talk to that area. Wow, that's that muscle should not be firing. Let me turn that off. That vertebrae is a little aligned. Let me pull this muscle over this way. So, it, And it, the brain, once it can talk to your body in these areas, it knows what to do to fix it. It knows how to align it. So the network care practitioner facilitates your body healing itself because like a lot of the contacts where there's real high tension in an area he'll make a real light contact where there's low tension he'll make a hard contact and what it does it helps your brain find those areas reconnect to those nerves that are pinched or disconnected where it doesn't really sense or feel anything and you can imagine if your brain can't talk to your different organs how does it know what the status is or the health is how can it send oxygen and nutrients to, or blood flow to that part if it doesn't even in essence know it's there anymore because it can't talk to it so it's like think of it like a computer if something breaks in your computer it's like everything breaks down it might still function but its capacity is severely diminished and so i could totally relate to your your back being hard that's what happens people have a real hard back like that it's like all the muscles are firing wherever the the part of the spine is and the brain has no idea that that's even happening it's just it it, ha it went on for so long there was so much trauma so much emotional trauma that it just it got so hard that it, it's like a light switch it just turned it off it like turned that part of your personality off if you will so you don't really experience it he says i always assumed and blamed it on the gym and even took it as a compliment is this how everybody feels uh, absolutely not it's not how i feel anymore People that tend to grow up in healthy, loving families, they're, they're typically, their spines look great. Their, their spines are nice and straight, aligned. But the more traumatic your environment was that you grew up in and that you're in now, the more tension you're going to have and the more it's got to release. He says, I'm looking forward to your response and I'll update you if I go through with it. So... If you're just going to go once or twice and see 
if it works for you, that's a total waste of time. Save your money, save your time. You should only go if you're serious. And my recommendation is to do a lot of work in a short period of time because you're going to get the quickest changes that way. You know, most people go in, they get worked on once, twice, maybe three times a week. And so when you get like nine entrainments in a week like I do, you're getting like a month and a half of work in basically a week. And so you'll, whereas if you're slowly making changes over the course of a month and a half, you don't really notice it. But when you get a lot of work in a short period of time, you really feel it quickly. And so other things can bubble up. You might start to cry for no reason. You might be sitting at home and you think about something, you're bawling like a little girl. Then five minutes later, you feel fine. Don't judge it. Don't fight it. You got to feel it to heal it. You got to think of it. It's really just stuck energy. When you got to cry or you feel angry, it's also good to verbalize whatever you're feeling. I feel depressed. I feel sad. I feel lonely. I feel angry. I feel pissed off. That person did this the other day, cut me off in traffic, really made me mad. Wish I had a little button for hyperspace. I could just press that little red button and they would show up some other place on the world somewhere because they drove like a jerk. Wouldn't it be nice to have a button like that? But whatever it is, it's like you got to express what you feel. You And verbalizing it helps you acknowledge and experience that feeling instead of running away from it like most of us tend to do. Because when you feel it and you embrace it like a child embraces their emotions and you don't have any judgment, you're not trying to get away from it, you're grateful for the feeling, you totally embrace it, you acknowledge it, what happens is after a few minutes it typically dissolves and then you'll be sitting there staring at the ceiling daydreaming about boating or something or eating an eclair or a jelly donut or whatever it happens to be, you'll be your mind will have completely wandered to something else and you'll be cracking yourself up and you'll be like, wait a minute, I just felt like my life was over five minutes ago. I felt depressed and like horrible. And now I feel like there's nothing but possibilities. It's because it was stuck energy, you experienced it and moved through your nervous system and it dissolved. That's how emotions are supposed to happen. You're supposed to experience them fully in your nervous system and they go away. That's exactly how children experience their emotions before us adults have basically fucked them up to where they don't feel or experience anything naturally like they're supposed to, like the creator created them to. So uh, to me, it's one of the greatest things ever. And like I said, my friend's kids, it's like I'm really excited for them because that typically will change the trajectory of your life. It's like whatever is getting in the way of them becoming the people they're meant to be, whatever their personal story is, doesn't feel safe in their body language or physiology to do it, it'll just feel natural. It'll feel safe to do new things. It'll feel safe to go towards the things that they really want and to make good choices and invite better people into their lives. Like I said, you'll naturally want to listen to more relaxing music, whether it's TV or the other media that you consume, You'll want things that help bring more ease, delight, calm, and peace into your life. So, like I said, I go into extensive detail in mastering yourself at understandrelationships.com. You can read it for free. Also, 3% Man, you can read for free at understandrelationships.com. Just subscribe to the email newsletter. You can get these sweet mugs to remind yourself to make your life a drama-free zone like I do at teespring.com, the Coach Corey Wayne store. And if you'd like to get my help personally, whether it's a personal or professional challenge, go to understandingrelationships.com, click the products tab at the top of your screen, and book a coaching session with yours truly. Until next time, I will talk to you soon. <laughs>